So, uh, Henry, um, that first half, um, you know, what do you think y'all are struggling? Why do you think y'all are struggling that first half? <clears throat> I think struggling in all categories. Except the rebounding part, I thought we rebounded well in the first half, offensively and defensively. Um, de defensively, though, we were not very good. A lot of too many open threes. Um, and that showed they were 7 for 10 in the first half, I think, from three, and they shot about they shot 70%. And then a little bit too many drives. Um, and then offensively, I thought we were stagnant a little bit, but there's nothing we can do about that. But just I like you know how the team, how we flipped this. Script in the second half, and I thought we played our guts out. Credit to Mo, man, he came in and was unbelievable. Um, lifted everybody up. I know he might not show up on stats or anything, um, but man, he lifted everybody up. Did it take with the fire that y'all had, or, or what was that halftime like? I think we knew as a team, as a whole. Uh, it's not Texas A&M basketball in the first half. And the shot clock, and, and y'all. We're, we're shooting about halfway through in the second half. Do you think um, trying to trying to find the perfect shot was maybe a little bit of the case in the first half that that kind of stuck, made the offense better? I think a little bit of that. I think the second half it started on the defensive end. We were stopping them, allowed us to play transition, allow us to have advantages, allow us to be a little bit fast pace. Um, and I think with that, we got easier shots. And then when teams are out of position and stuff in transition, it opens up for offensive rebound. And I thought that's something that we did really well tonight. Boots, Cash, um, even Mo, even Hayden, when they came in there, they were really effective on the offensive glass. So I think when we play fast and we play you know, hard and we really defend, that opens up our offense. The last time you played LSU, you guys said that you know rebounding was one of the issues. And that was, I guess, one of your strengths today. So. Um, over the next few days, you know that, that you have until your next game. I mean, what do you feel like you guys need to focus on to, to kind of regroup? I think we'll regroup, but I think it's the same model, you know, that we've had the whole year. We have to focus on us. It hasn't really been much of the opponent. It's, you know, how can Texas A&M get better each and every game? Um, and I think that's going to be the same model. I don't think anything changes. I think it's, you know, what can we do better? Um, what can we do to focus on us? Is what you saw in the second half kind of what you would like to start to get? I mean, is that the kind of what you would need to play all game? In order yeah, to I think if we can put together a full 40 minutes, um, we're a heck of a team. And I think, I think, you know, we'll find that out hopefully sooner than later um, to put together that full 40. But I think it's coming. And, you know, I just think we have to kind of regroup and get it back together. And Henry, you spoke it, about it doesn't get any easier also going to the top ring dog. And what is y'all's attitude approach going into that game as well? I think you just regroup and you kind of just, like I said, focus on us. I don't think it's ever been. Uh, the opponent we've played in, you know, sold out arenas. We've played in packed places. We've played on the road. Um, you know, even with the young team, I think the guys are composing. I think people are, you know, the guys on the team were, were gritty, were hardworking. I think that will hopefully pay off. And I think that, you know, going to that environment um, will be a calm team, you know, in situations. But I think if we can play the way we played in the second half of full 40 minutes, I think we'll be a really good team. I just wanted to ask you, you spoke about that competitive fire. Is it getting harder to maintain that competitive fire? I don't think so. I think because everybody on this team has a story. I think we wake up with it, you know. I don't think it's something that, you know, Coach Essence, you know, force on us. You know, everybody here has a story. Everybody here, you know, has a different background. And I think that fire inside each and every one of us is the reason why we play this game and we play it the way we do. So I don't think there's anything um, that Coach Essence really put on us. Thanks. Anything else? Henry, thanks. Yeah, no.